everybody, welcome back to Organized Joy. Today's episode is about jewelry evaluations. I'm going to do another episode in a couple of episodes time about jewelry care, but I wanted to touch on evaluations. Jewelry has very specific meanings to people. Sometimes that is because of the cost of it, but also sometimes because of the meaning that it brings to you. And when we get this piece of jewelry, if we insure it, we either pop it into our jewelry box or we wear it all the time or we put it in a safety deposit box but we forget about its actual value and how to keep the evaluation to its correct form my most valued pieces of jewelry are not about the price tag they are about what that piece of jewelry means to me my first one is my engagement ring for obvious reasons it has a very big meaning between Andy and I. The second piece is a ruby ring that my grandmother gave me on my 21st. And that's because of the history and the meaning of her um, that it gives me that means something to me. So jewelry can be valued because of different reasons. But evaluations of jewelry are very important if they've been put onto your insurance. So, if anything had to happen to any piece of jewellery that is exceptionally special to me, I would be devastated. So I would want to be able to replace it to as close to what I had in terms of exact, um, like an exact piece to what I had as possible. I know that the meaning behind that certain item would be lost forever. If you don't have your jewellery re-evaluated every two years, the value that they would pay you out from insurance is probably not close to what you should get in order to get something exact. Now this applies to jewellery, thankfully, mostly the value of that goes up, as well as special watches. I had a watch re-evaluated the other day and it was worth 25% more than what I had paid for it. So you have to re, re you ha I had to resubmit that to insurance so that I was I was getting insured at the correct value because if it was stolen, it would I wouldn't get the same watch back again and I would want to. So it's very important every two years to go and have your jewelry evaluated. Put it all together and take it to a reputable jeweler, someone that you trust. And it doesn't have to be where you bought it from originally. As long as it's a good jeweler, he can evaluate all your jewelry as one, as one set for you. Either give you individual certificates if that's what you require, or one certificate with it all. And if you keep going back to him, he will just re-update that for you, which is great. Once you get that certificate back from him, submit it to insurance. I have obviously done a very small list for you of these tips on how to go about re-evaluating your jewelry. It's list number 39. It's on my website, organizedjoy.co.za, in the list section. Go and download it and make sure your jewelry is valued correctly. Thank you so much for joining me at Organized Joy.